Good morning, my dear friend. I hope you're well today. It is a Friday morning, and we are looking at Psalm chapter 8. I'm going to start reading in verse 1 and read down through verse 6. It says this, To the choir master, according to the Gittith, the Psalm of David, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. And that's a powerful statement. You have put all things under his feet. That's actually referring back to Genesis chapter 3, and verse 15. Right after the fall, the Lord came. And he said that one would be sent, and that was Christ. And he was going to crush Satan's head. Satan would bruise his heel, but he would crush Satan's head. That's a powerful statement for us. All things have put, been put under Christ. He has authority over all. Let's go to him in prayer today. Heavenly Father, we come to you thankful. Lord Jesus, you have all authority. You have crushed Satan's head. We're so thankful for that. Lord, you are in control and we look to you. We honor you today in Jesus' name. Amen.